gremlining down towards Chitwood Dam, so he's going to have to fight those off before he gets anywhere. But we've stumbled upon some beautiful ground hornbills. They've landed some in front of us, and then there's one to the right of us. And isn't that beautiful with the clouds in the background, the dead tree, and our ground hornbill sitting perfectly on top of them. I absolutely love watching these birds. These guys are such amazing creatures. They are unlike most of the other birds out here. They're massive. They're not very well hidden. They're pretty inconspicuous, especially when they sit on trees. But they manage to catch such large items. And that big red facial skin and big beak it all just makes it quite a sort of intriguing bird to watch. And I love their eyes as well. Their eyes are so expressive. They've got these massive eyes with long eyelashes that they're able to then see the prey items that they go after. Now this particular bird is a male. We know that because there is no purple in its throat skin. If it was a female that was an adult, you'd find a bit of purple starting to bleed into that throat patch. So this is a big adult male that's here. The other two that are off in the distance, I'm not sure as to what they are because, well, I can't see them from where we are at the moment. So, But isn't that nice? It's about as good a view as we can get of a ground hornbill in a dead tree like that. And like I say, with a bit of cloud in the distance, it's very pretty. And these are the guys we must have heard calling all day. Remember I was talking about earlier that they were calling and making quite a bit of noise. And I can see they're flying down towards... I wonder if they're not going towards that jackaway. There they go. Look at that wingspan as they go. Massive. They seem to be spending a lot of time near that jackalberry where Tandy and Tamba were. So I wonder if they're not flying down that way after a brief hiatus from that jackalberry due to the leopards being there with their kill. Now Mary, you say you love them. Well Mary, I think you and many others, they are an intriguing species, aren't they? They're in such sort of large birds and they look so different to all of our others that they are very, very interesting to look at. And I can actually see they're all on the same dead tree now, which is going to be really cool. Lorena, you say these birds look so prehistoric. Well, they do, don't they? They almost look like pterodactyls that have come flying down to sort of haunt us. But they are in no way dangerous to us as people. And I think it's just that long beak and that facial skin that gives them that sort of prehistoric look to them. But they are, of course, highly endangered as well, which is not a good thing. They've lost a lot of habitat and they unfortunately have lost a lot of nesting sites, which has led to many of them declining. Now, hopefully they're going to stay here on this tree because it's beautiful. All four of them are on a tree just to my right hand side. And I'm hoping, no, don't fly, don't fly, don't fly. Oh, no, they're flying. There they go. You can see three of them have departed and there goes the fourth. And it's just as we broke past the tree line that they decided to fly off. You can hear some Franklins are not very impressed by these big birds coming over. Of course, the ground horn must pay not too much threat. What's wrong? Oh. <laughs>